In the Tesla there are so much stuff to really get into and to read about and know. And one thing that I've seen is when I push the driver profile, I see all the way down the valid mode. Well, what is the valid mode? Well, let's find out. So the first time you press valid mode, it says create a four digit pin. So that will be the code that you enter and that you make on your own and that will also be the code that opens the valid mode in the future. So let's now choose yeah, one, two, three, four, the most greatest code in the world and now the valid is on and if we want to take it away we have to enter our code again to one two three four and disable so of course one of the first questions that pops into my mind is what do we use the valid mode for what's the reason for it well it makes the car way less fun. It loses a lot of powers and it loses a lot of the abilities to use some of the equipment that this amazing car is equipped with. And that might be a good thing, for instance, if you have a son or a daughter that has just received the driver's license, uh, because in the wrong hands this machine may be quite dangerous. So let's just see what happens uh, with the vehicle when it is in valid mode. Another thing also mentioned is that it's nice to put the car in valid mode if you borrow it to somebody you don't quite trust. For instance, if you bring it to service, if you uh, are parking the car and let somebody else park the car for you in some hotels or some restaurants or whatever, you could also put it in valid mode. It just makes it a little bit more secure of stuff. So let's find out what those are. So one of the first things you actually noticed is when you push the brake and start of the car, it actually says valid mode or valid above the speedometer. When you enter the valid mode, the power of the car it gets quite reduced. So as you see now, you can only push the car up to 120 kilowatts and that makes a very big difference actually. There are also a lot of stuff that you cannot do anymore. For instance you cannot push the T anymore. So you cannot find out the VIN number of your car. That's okay. Another thing is in the settings. One nice thing actually that is quite nice is that you cannot turn off the remote access. So uh, you can always know where your car is by your phone because the person that is sitting in the car cannot turn the remote access off. That's a nice thing. Actually there are two things here that have been missing. Now there are seven and the two that is missing is the home link and the driver profiles. So also the home link doesn't work. Another thing that doesn't work is that you cannot push places. So you cannot use the car now to find your home for instance. So nobody can take your car, find your home and open your garage door with the home link button doesn't work. The glove compartment does not open at all. It's completely locked. Another room that is also locked is the front. See it's not there anymore. I can push here but nothing happens. Another thing also is that you cannot reset the car software. That's impossible now. And that's also okay. Okay. 
so the car is okay to drive actually there is nothing wrong about it or strange about it but of course if you hit the floor with an accelerator not so much happens it's like somebody is holding you back it's like you have a big thick rubber band behind the car that is sort of pulling you back so if I now push the it's like ah, it works but it's so slow comparing to what you are used to uh, and of course that doesn't give it so much power and it doesn't uh, go like lightning anymore or ludicrous or insane so all those modes are way off now it's snail mode comparing to those that are normally here the cruise control does not work anymore so if I try to start it cruise not available and also of course the auto steering doesn't work at all those features are way gone right now because of the mode so the radar and the sensors are of course still in order but no cruise or auto steering is available other than that you can see of course uh, all the status uh, of course the time and the kilometers left on the battery and of course stuff like that but uh, the car is way less fun now I can tell you that <laughs> it's quite boring actually Let's try that one more time. Uh, well, it's definitely in the kill joy mode right now. And also, it has been set to a maximum speed. You can only go to 113. Or 111. I'm flooring it right now nothing happens more. There is just not enough power. Strange. And if I just drive normally and passing cars looking for a free parking space, you see that the parking P will pop up both on the right side and now I'm passing some cars on the left side and uh, there's a free gap there. There you see the P. But, if I put it in valid mode, yeah, it, it doesn't work. So, if it's valet mode, valid mode, or valet mode, I don't know, because I'm not English. That's not my native tongue. I speak normally on the region. So, so not than sucking, buddy. But anyway, it doesn't work, the auto park in valid or valet or valid mode. Another thing that doesn't work in the valid mode is the rocket launcher. But if you have it uh, on your normal profile, you can just uh, fire away. Now, a nice thing about uh, also the valid mode is that you can activate it from your phone. Here so you see in the valid mode, and you can just enable it like there and uh, it will go on and uh, if you want to take away it again you just press disable and it's back at its normal now as you see the car must be in park to enable or disable the valid mode it cannot be done while the car is driving so if somebody is stealing your car and they have already put it in drive you cannot put it in valid mode now, if you are in the car and you want to disable the valid mode and you have forgotten the great 1, 2, 3, 4 code, then you can clear your pin here. You can only do it from your phone or from your computer, not in the car. So that's it, the valid mode. If you need it, I don't know, maybe some will use it in some situations. Maybe it will help you uh, on your consumption of the power. I don't know, you have to ask somebody else that knows more about this, for instance Björn. Uh, but um, yeah, that's it for now folks, and uh, if you like this kind of vehicle and want to uh, 
be a part of the future that is already here. Just uh, order one, uh, use my link if you want to, and uh, get some money off. Bye-bye.